Hi, my name is Cindy Miller, and I'm the Director of Children's Ministry at Shepherd of the Hills Lutheran Church School and Child Care. Our story today comes from God's true book, the Bible. It is called Doubting Thomas. Before we read the story, let's make sure we know what doubt means. Doubt means that you think something is not true or you don't believe that it is true. So let's try something. If I said there's going to be a rocket landing in my backyard today, would you believe it or doubt it? That's right, you would doubt it. What if I said that I'm going to read you a Bible story now? That's right, you would believe it because it's time for me to read the Bible story of Doubting Thomas. All the disciples knew that Jesus was alive because they saw Jesus when he came to them on the evening of the resurrection, all but one. And that was Thomas. Since Thomas wasn't with the disciples when Jesus appeared to them, they told Thomas the good news. They said, Thomas, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas wasn't sure that he believed. Do you know why? Since he didn't see Jesus, he didn't believe the good news. Thomas doubted. He said, I won't believe until I see Jesus' hands and touch his side. Eight days later, after Jesus first visited with the disciples, guess who came to see them again? Did you guess correctly? That's right, Jesus came again. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them and he said, peace be with you. And this time, Thomas was with the disciples and saw him. Jesus said to Thomas, Look at my hands, touch my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas bowed before Jesus and said, My Lord and my God. He finally believed that Jesus was alive. Jesus spoke to Thomas and said, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. This is the story of Thomas from God's Word.